What's up, guys? We got some more wrestling otaku nonsense to talk about. Well, on today's list of bright ideas to gain some relevance, wrestling otaku has decided to open up his own merch shop. Now, clearly, this is the smart move to make because you should always open a merch shop before you have any kind of popularity whatsoever. And that's going to boost his 170 subscriber account straight to the top. But the reality is, this is just another ego-driven move by Wrestling Otaku that he seriously believes that anyone in the entire world would want to pay their hard-earned money for branded Wrestling Otaku merchandise. This is just going to be another example of something Wrestling Otaku does to pretend to be one of the big boy popular YouTube creators that's just going to fail because he doesn't understand how little people actually like him. The truth is, most YouTube creators overwhelmingly should not have a store. It is embarrassing to create a store when you have almost no followers. And that's exactly what Wrestling Otaku has right now. Creating a merch shop when you have less than 200 subscribers is a guaranteed way to make yourself look like an idiot when it inevitably fails because you do not have the fan base to do something like that. So like this, and like so many other of Wrestling Otaku's stupid and poorly thought out ideas, he'll put some work into this, and then he'll give it up because it doesn't immediately show results and he's a lazy, pathetic idiot just trying to find something that will magically put him into the forefront of YouTube without any work on his part. So, let's look forward to seeing Wrestling Otaku's shitty merch shop, and let's laugh at him when he fails again. But thanks for watching guys, and have a wonderful day.